All right. Hope everyone's doing fantastic today. Today, we're going to be making a live cold call to an expired. This expired just came off of the market uh, last night. Um, I've had a lot of success this year hitting the, are the newer expireds, the ones that are fresh, fresh off the market. This particular one was listed at 325. It is a brick house. Let's get, get this video up, the photo up so you guys can see it. I want you to be able to see what I'm looking at. Bam, there we are. So this particular house, 325000 It was on the market for a little over three months and never went under contract. Uh, it's 2,500 square feet, right? Uh, has a lot going for it. It has some decent photos. Now, this, this photo right here is amusing to me because nice lush green lawn. And then the very next photo, ah, let's do it here. Nice lush green lawn. So they did this photo twice. Nice and lush green lawn. And then if you look at the next photo, it is the original photo before photo editing happened. You got to kind of pick one or the other, I would think. Uh, not having, I wouldn't have both of them on there. But either way, this listing uh, was on, let me see here. It was on for 94 days. Uh, originally listed at 325 and expired off the market at 325. So we're going to shoot a call to Teresa and see what she has to say. See if she's interested in getting it back on the market and maybe getting the thing sold. Good morning, Teresa. Yes. Hey, my name's Shane. I'm a local real estate agent. I see you had a property over there in Weeksville that was on the market and it came off last night. Is that something you're still trying to sell? It could have been taken off a while ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like it just, uh, let's see, withdrawal date. Oh, okay. All right. So it came off in February, but apparently your contract with the agent expired last night. That makes more sense. Gotcha. Okay. Well, are you still trying to sell it or what are you planning on doing now? Just hang on to it? Uh, well, I was selling to be um, Jason somewhere else, but gotcha. now I'm getting out. So like <laughs> up in the air about selling it. I like, got you. I have an offer, then yeah, but. Well, I tell you, we're in a really interesting market right now, right? Interest rates are going up. So people are scared that like there's not a lot of sales going on. But every week I do a market breakdown of all of the listings that hit in our MLS and then how many of them sell in that first week. And so we had last week we had 1,077 new listings in our entire MLS. And it's a big MLS. Out of that 1,077, 602 of them went under contract within one week. So what it's looking like is, number one, we're not losing value because we have no inventory and there's still a, a ton of people that need to move regardless of what the interest rates are doing. And if properties are priced correctly, they're selling pretty fast for the most part. So if it was something that you were thinking about, I'd love to like work some numbers up for you and maybe sit down and kind of show you how I sell properties and um, see if it makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'd have to talk to the family. Okay. I have living with me. Of course. Okay. Well, let's do this. Um, have a conversation with your family. Uh, this week, I'm kind of wrecked because I've got a listing appointment in Elizabeth City over there on um, over by Walmart today. And then I've got a listing that I'm putting live tomorrow in a Hosky, but I could potentially meet with you um, either over the weekend or first part of next week, if that's convenient. Uh, probably next week, because I got the fleet back. Okay. On Saturday. Gotcha. Gotcha. So do you want me to pencil you in for maybe Monday, four or five o'clock? Um, yeah, that works. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll touch base with you Monday morning or maybe Sunday just to make sure that we're still good for, let's say, four o'clock Monday. 
and then I'll have some stuff prepared and we'll uh, we'll take a look at you know what it looks like and if it makes sense great if not I want to stay in touch with you anyway in case you need something down the road okay thank you awesome well you have a fantastic day sorry for the confusion at the beginning of the call I saw it had expired I didn't even see the withdrawal date back in February no, I was actually going to be talking to my family soon anyway about trying to sell. So. Oh, yeah. so this is a sign then, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good deal. All right. Well, um, I will be in touch with you over the weekend, and you have a you have a fantastic time this weekend at the at the thing. All right. Thank you. Have a good weekend. All righty. You too. Bye. There you go. Um, Talk about lack of attention to detail. It did not even pick up on the fact that it had been withdrawn back in February uh, based on the MLS page that I'm looking at here. And uh, the status change date. So it expired. The agent's contract or the agent's agreement with the seller expired yesterday. So here we go. We've got a solid lead. Uh, she's taking it as a sign that... Um, that I happened to call her today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to come into my Zoom room and make these calls with me, you're more than welcome to drop in. The, the link is shanezoomroom.com. And you can come in, you, you can make calls with me. I've got breakout rooms set up where I work with agents one-on-one -on, -one on how to do exactly what I'm doing. And if you want to partner with us on a deeper level, if you want to look at what that looks like, I'd be more than happy to have that conversation with you as well. Uh, just comment below and we'll connect and, you know, explore that option. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.